It's uh, Philip from OnlineEnglishTeacher.com. Uh, welcome to the webinar. Um, I'm just going to be adding in other people shortly. Um, <clears throat> so if you have a question about the IELTS exam, um, please go ahead and ask. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone's joined at the moment. Um, right, okay. So I'm just going to, first of all, share the video just in a couple of groups that I'm in. And uh, hopefully, um, there may be some more people coming. Okay, so let me just go ahead and do that. Um, <clears throat> and if you're listening to this on a replay, um, then uh, you can, um, uh, if, you, if you want to kind of keep up to date, uh, try to add me to your, uh, try to follow my company page, and then you can. Um, get uh, uh, some updates uh, there. Um, so let me see here. Right. Um, so I'm just going to, here's the video. So I'm just going to click on share. Um, a little bit slightly new to this, not so much now. And I'm um, going to be able to um, uh, share this in the groups that I'm the admin of, a couple of groups. Okay, so there's one person here at the moment. Uh, welcome to the person who's here. Uh, if you have a question, please go ahead and ask. And you can just write the question, or if you just want to listen, uh, please feel welcome just to listen, uh, whichever you prefer. Okay, so I've shared it to one of the groups I belong to, and now I'm going to share it to the other group uh, that I belong to. So let me see here. Oops. Uh, right. Okay. There's the other group I belong to. And um, right. So just see if there's any messages that have come in. Um, so somebody uh, somebody has liked it. Um, oh no. Sorry. This was uh, this was another uh, an old video that people are liking. So right. Uh, welcome. Uh, welcome to the webinar. This is Philip from England. I'm a UK native speaker. And I've been teaching English online starting uh, from about 10, over 10 years ago, January 2007. Uh, my website is onlineenglishteacher.com. Check it out if you're interested in paid Skype classes, uh, e-courses, writing correction, or private forum. Um, and also have a lot of free material as well, free ebook, book um, uh, free forum, which I don't, I post them, but I don't normally answer so much. And... Um, and like I'm posting this uh, webinar here in. Um, okay, uh, so uh, welcome uh, everyone, welcome uh, anyone who is here at the moment. Um, I think it's, uh, just someone's just come in. Uh, right, okay, so I'm going to be doing IELTS tips uh, today. I'm going to be making IELTS tips and um, if, uh, if you have any quest, if there are any questions from anyone uh, listening, if there's anyone uh, listening and uh, uh, just one or two people here at the moment, approximately. Okay, uh, so I'm going to be doing IELTS tips and also a lot of IELTS tips in my free ebook. So the um, the first uh, tip I'm going to be uh, uh, talking about is for the uh, reading exam. Um, okay, I'm just turn on the color here. Um, oops. Okay, excellent. Got a question from somebody listening. This is somebody who is uh, Arabic, uh, Arabic name, and uh, excellent question here. And the question is, can you provide me with tips about task one academic writing? Yes, absolutely. And uh, I'm happy to do so right now. Uh, I will try my best. Um, so basically for, um, well, the first thing I recommend uh, for the uh, for for any writing task is first of all to make synonyms so that you're not uh, repeating the question so just um, for any task for you know academic general task one task two uh, spend uh, just a few minutes uh, making synonyms so that you're not repeating the uh, question vocabulary which would uh, really uh, there is no grade for that so that's the first tip uh, the next tip is to make sure that you really uh, understand the question uh, clearly. Now, um, you are referring here to the 
um, to the academic exam. So it'll normally be like a, you know, tables or charts or maps or a map or whatever. Um, so um, may, uh, try to understand it. But having said that, it's not always necessary probably to understand it 100%. Like, for example, if, there's, if the chart is about a topic and there's some vocabulary you don't understand it, the exa actually the examiner won't know you don't understand it if you can just describe it. <laughs> you know, you can say. So, for example, if it says, you know, the the cardio the cardio the cardiology reports, you know, and you don't know what is the word cardiology, you don't, the examiner doesn't know you don't know it. So you can just say, well, the cardio cardiology reports. Say, <laughs> I'm not necessarily recommending that, but that's just the fact. Okay. Anyway, um, so okay, um, so basically, um, now. Uh, so the first thing to do is just try and understand it, but again, you don't need to maybe understand it 100%. You can still answer it, or probably. Um, and uh, the next, um, uh, and then also you need to make synonyms. Just spend a few minutes making synonyms for um, any question vocabulary, and also for any vocabulary in the charts or the tables. Uh, try to make uh, synonyms there. Um, so that's something to do as well. Um, and uh, then um, now it does it does depend if it's um, uh, like if it's a map or if it's charts a little bit how you answer it. But I normally kind of make it all very similar. So this is what I do personally. Now there's no right or wrong. You know, other teachers will have different strategies. So I'm not saying any of their strategies are not good or anything like that. This is what I do personally, and. Uh, you know, I've been teaching it for uh, over 10 years, and uh, oh, sorry, uh, English over 10 years online, but uh, the IELTS about from about eight years ago. So, and actually, one of my last students, she got um, eight average and then seven minimum each section. She's a doctor. She'd failed it three times before studying with me, and so uh, anyway, I don't. But again, I'm not saying I have the best idea or the possible best. So, this is just my strategy, and I've been teaching for many years, and actually. I studied uh, writing at university as well, so uh, literature and writing. I'm a UK native speaker, so I kind of have some uh, background as well. Okay, um, so basically, uh, for the uh, for the writing exam uh, for uh, academic, um, what I normally do is the first paragraph will be the introduction. So I will say something like, um, you know. Um, uh, this is a, a um, you know, I can see two charts, you know, or, or of course, they'll be using more complex vocabulary. So it'll be something like looking at the data provided beneath, we can perceive information, or we can uh, view information relating to blah, 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 blah. So um, the first paragraph, I just introduce the data. I don't say any statistics. I don't, uh, or if it's a map, I can say, you know, I can see a map uh, and uh, it has a legend, which means a description. So basically, just for the first paragraph, I normally introduce uh, an overview, and maybe I'll give like two or three sentences or something like that. Um, okay, I'll just answer the first question first. Um, so yes, so I'll give like two or three sentences and. Um, uh, for an introduction, you know, what can we see? But I don't give any specifics. Now, the next paragraph, I will go into the specifics. So I'll give like six to eight statistics. Um, so you know, the the, uh, the the notable statistics, basically. Um, or if it's a map or a process, you can kind of give a lot of the key features of the map or the process or whatever. Um, and then the uh, the last paragraph. Um, I give um, uh, an analysis. Uh, so I'll say this is the highest, this is the lowest, you know, anything like that. Um, and then um, for a map, um, I will, uh, 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 for a map, uh, I will give, you know, just an opinion and some description, the, the key changes, anything like that. So just to summarize, the first uh, paragraph will be introduction, the second paragraph will be data. And the third uh, paragraph will be analysis, and also maybe for a, a map, you may need to give like more of an opinion or something as well. Okay, so that's what I do. Um, like you know, for an opinion, it could be you know this was a very well structured island uh, accommodation lo location or whatever or you know anything. Okay, uh, the next tip for the academics writing academic writing task one is 
uh, and this is the same for all writing, uh, try not to make very short sentences. So it's not a good idea to make sentences which are, um, you know, uh, five words or eight words. So try to make them about 15 to 25 words. Uh, also, I don't recommend making like um, one sentence paragraphs. I don't think it looks very academic. Um, and also don't make very complex sentences. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, very long sentences, rather. Um, and uh, for the uh, writing, uh, uh, for every uh, task, but also for the academic task one, writing, uh, try to start every sentence with a complex word. Don't start a sentence with I, A, the. You know, if you think about it, it's a human exam, human grader, right? So rightly or wrongly, it's not going to impress them at all. Um, going for a higher grade, if someone starts with I think it says the book, you know, whatever, it's very basic. Um, also, try to make all your words complex, uh, as, much, as complex as possible. Use a variety of grammar, and this is a, the same for all writing tasks. Use, uh, use a variety of grammar. Uh, also, um, ch uh, make sure you have time for checking. So I normally recommend to write for 15 minutes and then uh, five minutes of uh, checking. Um, and okay, so and by the way, if anyone has a question, please go ahead and write a question. Just so I'm asking the current questions, um, and uh, I'll come to those if you'd like to ask any or if you just want to listen, that's fine as well. Um, okay, so yes, yeah, so basically, uh, those are some uh, uh tips there, um, and um, uh, other tips are um, don't give a lot of statistics, you know, you, you can't. You can't write a hundred statistics, you know. Uh, also, try not to give like just like you know five comma eight comma ten that sort of thing. You know, say something like first of all eight, moreover five, therefore uh, additionally ten. So you're kind of uh, uh, you're kind of um, uh, giving a variety, breaking it up. Uh, also, um, another tip for the writing: um, uh, make sure that you you know, you kind of cover the key points, um, and for the summary, uh, make sure you summarize the key points. Also, check out the band descriptors that can give a bit of an idea. If you if you Google IELTS writing band descriptors, uh, that will give you some more idea. Um, also, uh, other tips. Let me think here uh, for writing. Uh, of course, do lots of practice exams, and so you can kind of see what your weak areas. Get a teacher to correct you. Um, and um, uh, uh, who knows what they're doing, basically, and who you know, has the skill and ability. Um, also, um, when you make errors, try and put them into an Excel sheet um, so that you can then uh, track the errors and see which errors you're repeating. Um, and uh, uh, other tips for writing: uh, make sure you know, make sure your spelling and grammar are correct. Oh, use of I've said already use a variety. Probably I said that to use a variety of grammar and vocabulary. You know, think about using future tense, uh, so on. Um, and um, uh, what other tips? Uh, maybe actually working through just Google IELTS band. See if uh, um, I can probably come up with some general tips. But I'm just thinking so much for the uh, academic task one. Uh, I just so I'll just Google the uh, IELTS band descriptors for the uh, writing, um, so that's task two, and I'll have a look for the task one. Give you some ideas. Maybe I've covered some of it quite a lot. Um, okay, so for the um, IELTS writing task one, just looking at the band descriptors here. Um, so yes, make sure you answer the question so that a uh, clear overview uh, logically organizes information, uses complex vocabulary, and um, Yes. Okay. So I kind of, I think I pretty much covered everything there, uh, or a lot of the key points. Um, but if you want to check it out in detail, may have missed a few uh, small points at least. Um, and it's possible. Um, have a look here. Uh, here is the uh, link. Okay. Right. And uh, yes, if anyone listening has a question, additional questions, please go ahead and ask. I'll just work my way through the questions. Um, so, okay. What are we looking at here? Um, Spelling is important. Um, uh, range of key. Um, okay, so yes, yeah, so basically I've, I've, I've kind of covered that. Um, 
And uh, oh, also one other thing um, is also try and just make some complex sentences. Uh, if you Google uh, IELTS by the complex sentences, you can uh, find out uh, information about that. Uh, I'll, I'll, in fact, I'll put the link here. Uh, let me see here. IELTS. There we go. That's uh, buddy complex sentences, and uh, so that can be uh, useful there. Um, to okay, uh, how's that? Uh, how how are the tips for that? Go ahead with your opinion if I've kind of covered that. And uh, hi everyone, uh, if you have a question, please go ahead and ask about the IELTS. Uh, this is Philip from England. I'm a, a long-term online English teacher. So um, if you have any questions, please write your question, and I'm happy to answer in this free webinar and I um, have been I first started teaching the IELTS about uh, eight years ago so I'm very experienced I'm a UK native speaker I was born and went to school in England um, okay so um, I kind of got a, a foreign name actually from history but I, w I, I did actually go to school in, in England and was born here um, right okay uh, next question is uh, anyway I'm not sure so let me know your feedback for that hopefully that's covered uh, a lot of the key points um, and uh, also just anything else um, for general ones like make sure you uh, general tips for the writing just make sure you have practice for uh, using a pen and pencil so that uh, a lot of people they kind of finish school and they never really write an essay again or an article with a pen or a pencil so make sure that you regularly do that um, and when you erase an error put a line through don't overwrite it uh, if you overwrite it uh, you know, it can be uh, a little bit um, uh, confusing, like for the examiner, like did you mean the first error or the second error, you know, oh, sorry, the first writing or the second writing, um, so uh, just uh, be careful for that. Uh, also, yes, yeah, so also do lots of uh, practice uh, for uh, the, um, uh, f uh, do lots of practice for uh, the, um, hang on, I'm just making a comment in another place. Uh, do lots of practice for uh, the writing, you know, just to make sure you have uh, sufficient skill. Um, and, um, okay, so hang on, I'm just going to put something here. Please uh, write. Uh, should be, oh, hang on, am I not live? Oh, I'm live here. Right, okay. So, uh, copy and paste the link. Uh, right, if anyone wants to join the free group, I do have a free group here. And uh, I paste in it, but I don't maybe always answer the questions, but I do have a, a private group as well where I do answer questions. Okay, uh, right. Okay, hopefully that has answered uh, various questions there. Now, the next question is, uh, hopefully the person who wrote the question, if they're not here, uh, then you can always uh, watch it on the replay. Uh, the next question is, is it possible for a teacher of English to emigrate as if he is looking for a job according to his career while he is not a native speaker? Um, this isn't my area of speciality, you know, I'm uh, an English teacher, not an uh, immigration advisor uh, specifically, um, but uh, I, I would say so, uh, you know, probably for Australia, um, I may have even heard of that, um, but you may have more competition with the native speakers, you know, if you've both got the same level and one's a, uh, one's a uh, native speaker and the other's not, um, so that may be uh, a little bit uh, harder. Um, but uh, sure, I mean, I, I can't think of a, uh, a reason uh, uh, why not. Okay, um, Okay. so there we go. So I hope, uh, hope that helps uh, there. Uh, thank you for that. Um, right, uh, hi everyone. Uh, this, I'll just introduce myself, and if you have a question, please do go ahead and ask. I'm ready to answer. Uh, hi everyone, this is Philip from England. I'm a UK native speaker and I was born and went to school in England. Um, I'll just give my, if you're listening on the replay and you want to get my my Skabedi, it's IELTS Online English Teacher and my email is info at onlineenglishteacher.com. So, um, right, there we go. And uh, yes, so if you have a question, please go ahead and ask. Um, there's no, it's not... <laughs> Uh, not uh, very busy at this time. I think maybe uh, if I go to an earlier uh, schedule, maybe there'll be more people here. Anyway, okay, uh, so uh, welcome everyone, and uh, if you have a question, please do go ahead and ask, 
and I'm happy to answer. Um, the right to see. Uh, someone has liked. Okay, thank you very much for that. Uh, liking the video. And uh, if anyone has a question, please do uh, uh, go ahead and ask uh, anyone who's coming in and out or anything. Um, and I'm happy to answer. Right, okay. Uh, well, let me just go ahead and give some tips uh, from my uh, memory. So, okay, uh, so basically uh, there are uh, various, uh, uh, many different tips one can give for the um, uh, for the uh, IELTS exam. Uh, <clears throat> um, uh, so, uh, excuse me. Uh, so basically, <clears throat> uh, so basically, uh, first of all, uh, uh, for the, uh, I'll just start. Probably, I'll just do today like general tips, and um, because I think recently I've been giving a lot of tips specifically for the reading or the listening. So for uh, general tips. Um, the IELTS exam has a lot of energy uh, required, so make sure that you don't, uh, you know, like arrive, uh, eat a big pizza uh, the night before, um, and then in the uh, and then in the exam, you know, you're kind of full of pizza, like kind of thing, uh, an oil from a fat from a fatty pizza. Uh, so basically, uh, make sure that. Uh, you you know have a meal you can easily digest and sleep properly without a full stomach and then uh, on the day you'll need a lot of energy so basically um, uh, just um, you know have some fruit um, I probably recommend uh, actually I'm a vegan myself so you know, I would, I'd probably uh, have like a lot of calories the night before maybe avocados or something um, and uh, then on the day uh, I would uh, eat uh, maybe some grapes, you know, bananas, whatever, whatever's going to give enough energy, peanuts, whatever's going to give enough energy before uh, before uh, the exam. Okay, uh, right, so that's probably my tip there. Um, and, uh, okay, uh, so another tip uh, that I might give for the IELTS exam is, um, a general tip is wear smart clothes. Um, and uh, so basically, you know, if you wear a suit, you kind of maybe feel, will feel more professional than if you're wearing a T-shirt. <laughs> you know? And uh, the it may it may affect your thinking, giving you more confidence. Um, so you know, this is this is maybe what I would recommend: just wear wear something uh, uh, smart, and this will give you more confidence, and uh, that can help uh, for the exam. Um, Okay, so the uh, next uh, tip uh, I can give for uh, the uh, IELTS exam, general tip, and oh, by the way, anyone listening, if you have a question, please do go ahead and ask. Uh, this is uh, Philip from England. I'm a long-term UK native IELTS teacher. I started teaching online about eight years ago for the IELTS uh, first, and I first started teaching online for English uh, about... Uh, over 10 years ago. So if you have an English question for the uh, an IELTS question or a question about English grammar, I'm also very experienced with grammar, for speaking general business English and anything else as well. Okay, uh, right, uh, next tip, uh, next general tip. Uh, so, so we covered food, we covered uh, um, w uh, appearance, so try to wear a suit and something to give you more confidence. Uh, the next uh, general tip is um, um, Make sure you know how to get to the test center on time. So uh, basically, uh, you know, don't you don't want to be uh, uh, rushing? <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Uh, you don't you don't want to be uh, rushing. <clears throat> uh, so uh, basically, uh, ba ba so basically, uh, uh, basically, uh, yeah. So plan your journey uh, before. So that uh, uh, basically uh, you're not uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, uh, basically you're not uh, rushing and then like you know uh, you're kind of not focused uh, base, uh, is the key point. So think about if you're going by car, you know if your car has an issue or there's a traffic jam or anything, can you you know if the road is closed or whatever, motorway is closed, it's always closed. Can you? Uh, go by a train or anything like that. So think about uh, uh, think about alternative uh, methods for uh, travel. 
um, you know, um, also uh, bring some water. Uh, this can also be helpful. Uh, bring some water and some snacks. And you may not to bring you. You may not be able to bring the water into the exam center. I've, I've possibly heard from students. Um, but then you can use the water for drinking, and uh, then you know you can um, have a snack uh, for energy. So that's a suggestion there. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Okay. Uh, Okay, uh, next uh, question for uh, next uh, tip, general tip for the IELTS is uh, try to understand all the different sections of the IELTS. So uh, understand there are four sections, you know, the, uh, the speaking exam is 11 to 14 minutes, the reading exam is 60 minutes, the, uh, the writing exam is 60 minutes, and the, uh, the listening exam is 40 minutes. So uh, understand, the, uh, understand the exam. Um, and uh, so you can kind of just mentally prepare uh, what is uh, what is required of you. Okay, uh, right. Uh, next tip, uh, next sp uh, general tip for the IELTS exam is uh, have a look at the grading system. Um, so have a look at the band descriptors. You can Google like writing band descriptors or uh, speaking band descriptors to understand how it's graded. Um, so that can be useful. Um, and also be aware of the grading system for listening and reading. How many how many points you need to get correct to uh, to do that? Okay. Um, now, if anyone has a question listening, please go ahead and write. I'm happy to answer. Uh, this is Philip from England. I'm a long-term UK native speaker uh, of English, uh, teacher of English rather. <laughs> and uh, right, I just see any comments, anything coming in from anyone. Uh, Nothing at the moment, so I'm trying to, to cough, or not exactly cough, like a little bit of uh, a little bit cold in the weather here. And uh, anyway, uh, right. Uh, next uh, comment for um, uh, for general tips is uh, let me think. Um, uh, have enough preparation time, so don't think you're going to you know give one week off from work and, and then get on with the IELTS just before one week it may be enough it may not be but you need to kind of be more you know quite scientific for uh, your writing sorry for, for, your, for, your, for your writing and speaking and so on preparation um, so uh, make sure that uh, you uh, are properly prepared for, for time you know make a don't don't start studying very short time uh, before uh, right uh, so that's the tip for that excuse me a little bit cold weather here affecting my sinuses um and uh then um uh then <coughs> excuse me uh then uh, another uh, another general tip is um make sure you know what you can uh, what you can bring into the exam center so you can't bring a dictionary you know into the exam room uh or um you know so just be aware of that and uh, another uh, general tip is, um, uh, yeah, uh, try to ha try to have like a very good sleep the the night, the maybe the night or a couple of nights before also, um, and so you're relaxed. Now, if you're relaxed and and fresh, um, this can also help uh, to think more clearly. So one of the best tips that I found. Uh, is you know some students say what should they do before the, the exam and what I really recommend is just have a good relax uh, ha have a, have some good relaxing and uh, just try to you know be focused and fresh for the exams you're not tired uh, anything like that okay uh, hi everyone it's Philip from England uh, if you have a question please go ahead and ask <coughs> uh, otherwise I will uh, probably uh, bring this uh, webinar to an end shortly. So if you have a question, please do go ahead and ask. Otherwise, um, I will be finishing the webinar shortly, I'm guessing. Okay, um, it's normally actually not such a busy time doing it this time of night, so normally if I'm earlier, uh, there may be more people arriving or online in uh, other countries. Uh, right, okay. Uh, so uh, thank you very much everyone for listening. This is Philip from OnlineEnglishTeacher.com. You can see my website there. My um, I have a uh, email info at OnlineEnglishTeacher.com, and uh, also uh, my Skype ID is IELTS Online English Teacher. So uh, right, and uh, just had a like from somebody. Thank you for that. 
I do appreciate that. And uh, what I'll just do is, um, now if anyone wants to, okay, if anyone wants to, um, like, keep in touch, um, then you can just uh, like my company page or business page, and I'll put that here, and then uh, you can kind of, um, uh, you know, you can kind of, uh, hopefully, I'm not sure, I think you may be able to get updates uh, if you do that. Okay, uh, so uh, thank you very much, everyone, and have a Oh, sorry, uh, I was just going to I'm not sure if you got that, but uh, there was some internet disconnection here, uh, Facebook was saying. So anyway, have a fantastic day. Thanks for listening.